Okay, hey, this is part four of the Ed Puzzle Tutorials. We've created accounts, we've created classes, we've made videos or identified videos, and cropped them, added audio, audio notes, and created questions. So now it comes time to um, organizing and assigning them. So once you have done all the editing to your video, added your questions, you just click Done, and then title it if you want and choose English probably. So when you're there then you have to assign it to one of your classes. So I'm just going to assign it to English 9 and I can choose to prevent skipping so that they can't go forward and back. Um, if you don't prevent skipping they might not answer the questions but they would also have the flexibility to move past stuff that they already know. So I'm going to turn that off for now and looks like we'll be able to put a due date coming soon um, but not to just yet so when I save the assignment then when I go to my classes up here I can see um, what that looks like and um, it'll be there for my students so when I'm ready to direct my students to their assignments I can just copy the Edpuzzle URL and in my website if I'm doing it as homework or as an added resource I'll just make a link to that and save it for them so that when they go to the website um, it'll take them to the appropriate place. So now as a student I would go to my teacher's website see the homework go to Ed Puzzle Course and then it will automatically ask me if I'm a student or I'd have to click log in. And when I click student, um, if I've already created my account, I can click sign in with Google. If I haven't done this before, um, it will take me to a similar screen. And if I don't have classes already, I'll just click join new class and then I enter the code that you would provide with your students. So since this student has already joined English 9, I can see here are my list of assignments and I can see if it's complete or not started. And then when I go in to watch the video, I push play, and you can see where the questions are. So since I allowed skipping, the student can go up to the question, and then once it hits that spot in the timeline, it will automatically bring this up, and then I can submit it, and it will give me feedback on that question whether or not I got it right and then I can continue or rewatch if I want to um, but it won't let me re-answer that question so I'm gonna fast forward to that open response one and then submit that there's no correct answer and then bring it all the way to the end and then I'm done so now I'm going to switch back to the, well, I guess go back a screen. And then it shows incomplete um, because it's still not graded. So I'm going to switch back to the teacher mode now. So in teacher mode, I can check progress from my classes tab. And then whatever assignment I have, I can choose from these options. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is that you can view it as a student, uh, remove it or embed it, um, or you can do the assignment as a student even to see what it's like. But for progress, I can click the progress and then see all the students that have submitted it. And then I can sort by all these different um, options. And it color codes it by whether or not it's good, excellent, or help, or not started. And then up here you can grade the open questions, so it shows how many open questions there are. And you can also filter it by the different questions here. So I could see how many students got it right, um, where I need to direct my attention. Go back to class progress. Question 2, I can see all the answers in one page if I want to. But now if I grade the open questions, I could say, yep, got it, or nope, didn't get it. I'm going to say, yep, got it. And if I want to show them all, I could, or change it if I made a mistake. 
So now I go back, I don't have that to look at anymore. Question two is 100%. And um, then I'm good to go. One other thing that you can do when assigning is when you make an assignment, you can have it be in classroom um, or as homework. And it gives you a couple different views there. So it's pretty much um, what you need to know for now. And if you ever need to edit them, you can go back to your videos and edit from here or assign to a different place or even duplicate it if you wanted to. So pretty cool stuff. Um, hopefully this is enough to get you where you need to be. Thanks.